Hey everyone. So I've been trying water mixable oil paints lately and I wanted to share my experience. I first started recording this this video in a vertical format to put it as a as a short, but I also wanted to make one video about these paints. Something like a review, provided more layers and not just a quick sketch, but more like a proper painting to get a better understanding of these paints. So let's start with the video. Yes, my brush looks pretty pretty crusty, dusty and cracked. <laughs> but this is the only round brush I have at the moment. It's an old acrylic brush and I needed one medium sized round brush for this painting. So why even try these and not just go with the regular oil paints? Well, for me it's purely because of the health issues that comes with using solvent. I used to paint with oils before starting with gouache or, or acrylics for a couple of years but around two years back I completely stopped with oil painting. The reason for that was my sensitivity towards the solvents. They can cause allergies to some people and the fumes can be toxic. You need to have a very well ventilated area. I used to paint in my room so it was pretty bad for me. So I stopped using the old fashioned open dye. But even with the odorless mineral spirits, it, it's just, you cannot smell it, but it still can affect you if you're sensitive. It used to give me my stiffness around my chest and also sometimes headache. So I gave up on solvents. I just started using my medium, which was a linseed oil to also clean my brushes. Felt that something was missing. The cleaning process was a bit harder. And sometimes I wanted to do uh, paintings which were like more uh, thinly painted or had washes in them, uh, which was not possible anymore. Uh, so I just stopped with using oil paints. But of course, this is not the only reason why I stopped with oil painting. I will talk about the other limiting factors in a different video. So I started with a more diluted paint to sketch the basic shape. Uh, I find oil paints really buildable so sometimes I don't sketch with a pencil. So our solvent is water here instead of turpentine or any other OMS. Like with gouache you have to be more careful because a new layer can reactivate the layer underneath. Honestly I never had that problem even with a very thin water like layer but with these paints it's better best to not use any water after the first layer. It won't just uh, reactivate the layer below it. It will remove the paint altogether <laughs> like this. I got these paints a couple of weeks ago and tried them and did not like them at all. I thought maybe I just wasted money and then I got a medium for this the water mixable oil paint medium but the smell was as strong as the open dine and it's written on the bottle that it can be toxic i haven't used it yet i don't know if i'm going to going to use it or not anyways for this video i i wanted to show how these paints work without any medium anyways the pigment of the paint is binded with the medium so there is some medium in these paints which is the oil so you can work with it even without any medium and the same thing goes with the regular oil paints also so i have some tips which you can use if you want to give these a try if your paint gets too dry, just just dip the brush in water and wipe off the excess amount just to keep the brush wet enough. And remember to not use water like a medium, like I mentioned before. Because it's a solvent, it will break down your paint. Just like gosh, I like to spray some water on the paints to make them a bit a bit loose for my initial layers. 
these paints don't absorb water readily so so you have to mix them well whenever mixing them with water the good part about these paints are they are water mixable which is the best thing about these it's very easy to clean the after mess they work just like oil paints uh, you can also use these with regular oil paints and other oil painting mediums but just keep it in mind that after using it with uh, regular mediums and paint you cannot go back to using them with water Overall I I like these after a couple of paintings. So that's all for today. I wanted to share this with the people who are interested in painting with oils but are not okay with the solvents. I hope you will like this video and I'll see you in my next one.